Friday morning, everyone. Welcome to 8 West. We made it. Heading into a weekend. Very, very exciting. Busy weekend. Oh. No. Yeah, the weather's going to be crazy. fantastic. The big water slide, of course. Rob I heard you have a date with the water slide. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock. My plan is about 1 o'clock tomorrow I'm going to be down there. You're so. going to slide? Or you're going to go down there. You need to be specific. Well, I don't know. I got challenged on a radio station this morning. <laughs> so okay. I couldn't exactly back down. So actually, I, I really want to do it. Um, Jacqueline and I are going to be downtown doing some other stuff late in the morning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're going to head over. And uh, I said, hey, what do you think? And here's the thing. If she, if she feels at all like I shouldn't do it, then I won't do it because she's sort of <laughs> sometimes like my voice of reason in the okay, body I didn't know of a 17-year-old. Okay, print was in this bet that you just had to show up at that time, or perhaps you actually had to slide down the slide. My plan is to slide down the slide. Okay, so well, I know we'll you'll be out sure of town we get this some, weekend, uh, right? Yeah, pictures. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you'll have to go at right. it for both of us. Well, here's what I figure. You know, we're we're training. We're both training for the Metro Cruise 5K, 10K. Right. Well, you should actually then go running. Yeah. And then go to the and slide. then go to the slide. Well, that would feel really great. Right. Well, you you volunteered to do the 10K. So what I figured is my responsibility right. since I'm just training for a 5K that I will actually do the water slide because my training time is a little more. I don't have to train for quite as long as, as much. Do. Okay. Well, Sorry. it's a good thing that Joy Walzak is with Ravelis this morning. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be checking in a couple times oh, yeah. throughout the show to get the latest and maybe some tips. Yes. For you, oh. if you do decide to go down. That sounds like a really super and, great you know, idea. Maybe like to cannonball, do the pencil, <laughs> you know, what kind of suit to wear so you don't end up with, you know, a wedgie. A huge wedgie. Can we say wedgie? I think so. TV? Christine? I think yes? so. I'm guessing wedgie. so, yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't go back now. That's what she said. Okay, well, I had one of those really cool experiences yesterday. I, you know, there are so many people around in different places that when you happen to run into somebody just yeah. randomly in a location, that it's just kind of weird. It depends it's where you are. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was I was with Jen at the Meyer in Granville yesterday, and about 7:30 last night, happened to run into our friend Christy Buck. You know, she's getting she's ready for Ms. the Greek Granville, Festival. Though. She's Miss Granville, exactly. And so then we were there and ran into another friend of ours, just kind of as a fluke. Now, uh, isn't this your trainer? That's my trainer, Kathy Nyborn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, so, I so know there we are. People. Yeah, so well, we just, I, I've met Christy several times. Right. So <laughs> I figured when Christy and I were there together, we thought she was there actually uh, getting this lamb. And uh, so Kathy was there, and so I gave Jen my phone, and I said, you just have to take a picture of us. And so we... <laughs> well, you never know who you're going to run, run into, into. at Meyer. Mm -hmm. You know what? I started dating my husband after an encounter at Meyer. You're kidding. Yeah. That's a it's great... True. You can get anything at Meyer these Well, days. I guess so. Even a husband. <laughs> How about that? That's I amazing. Know. Good I, for you, I, Rachel. I, you know what? And then we got married at Meyer Gardens. Perfect. I told this to Fred Meyer uh, when he's visited our set. I owe a lot to him. That's great. I, really, really I had no do. idea you met your husband at Meyer. I see. Did. Yeah, that's, that's where it all started. That's a. It's a longer story than that. We'll save <laughs> that for sure. another show. Okay. Maybe an anniversary show or something like that. Okay. We had one other thing this week. Jen was at um, soccer camp out at Hope College mm -hmm. this week. And uh, the organizers actually invited the kids. You know, people, these kids grow so fast. Yeah. They grow out of their yeah. soccer shoes. And this is the time of the year that a lot of people are buying new soccer shoes because the kids have, you know, their feet have gotten bigger. Um, but what do you do with your old soccer shoes? Well, there's an organization called the Warmones in, in Holland. Warmones. It's a group of women who, okay. Jane Gerard, Jerry's yes. wife, she's part of the Warmones. They're female soccer players. Okay. They're, P women who had either played soccer when they were kids, who, had, who have kids playing soccer and they've always wanted to learn. They're a team. And so the Warmones actually are collecting used soccer shoes and they're sending them to other countries where the kids want a chance to play soccer and they that don't have the awesome. proper equipment. And so here's the uh, container that's basically overflowing from the soccer camp. So I just wanted to say, you know, congratulations to uh, all these kids idea. and families for really just deciding to give back. And, you know, kids grow so fast like you said mm -hmm. and they're wearing their shoes and sometimes it's just a season and they're not right. really torn up. Absolutely. They're actually in pretty good condition. Yeah. I remember growing up and then having to switch just because my, my foot was growing so fast, right. not yeah. because the shoe was bad. Right. That's what happens now. We replace as we kind of wear them out and our feet haven't grown yeah. in many years. Awesome. It's great. Do you yeah. put up some information about how people can do it. You know what? I that? will. I'll get the warm ones information okay. on our website, and then that way, if you have, uh, if, if you're like us, and you know, outgrowing your shoes every season, <laughs> you can have a place to uh, to donate them. Well, I hope that uh, 
I wear out a certain sort of shoe. We have a story that we're presenting, actually just in a few minutes, about us being outfitted for the Metro Cruise mm -hmm. 5K, 10K. Yep. We did that yesterday. It was really fun. What I got was something that I had wanted for a while, and it's this. It's this armband for my iPhone. Oh. And I have uh, my iTunes in it. And I don't know about you, but I need music for inspiration when I work out, especially I'm doing the 10K. It's six miles. Yeah. It's going to be a long time, and sometimes Two, you just three need a hours. really good song to kind of scoot you in the buns and, and get you going <laughs> on your way. And so here's the thing. I feel my playlist for my workout music is inadequate. And so oh. it is very crucial for me to be able to get my iPhone and put some great tunes on okay. it so I can wear this wristband or armband, armband yep. I should say, during it and uh, be motivated. So I'm doing a call out for good workout tunes. Sounds great. High energy type things, techno, things with a really fast beat that maybe are tried and true for you when you do your workout or when you're running that maybe give me a little bit of extra boost or inspiration when That's we great. go out yeah. and we are just pounding it right there, you know, on the road trying to get to the finish line. And so oh, great. I'm really excited about having this armband, you know, Gazelle Sports was amazing in telling us the right kinds of things that we need to exactly. wear for this race, accessories as well. They yeah. have tons of them. This is really important to me and this is what I'm going to be working on in the next week leading up and yeah. having a really good playlist. Okay. That's great. Okay, I have to. Do, I was just almost started laughing because you weren't there when I was getting my clothes, and uh, I know I'm running the 5K, and I probably can't tell you the story without laughing. Um, <laughs> but talk about having the right accessories. Yeah. I actually have a shirt that is um, more for a triathlete. It has a little compartment where you can keep snacks in the back. <laughs> That's perfect for you. I know. And I said I could put my Mike and Ike's back there. <laughs> so actually, anyway, I'm it's learning a zipper pocket. I'm learning all these things. There's something actually called goo. Right. It's like an energy thing. The energy energy put, yep. food gel type thing for running to give you a yep, boost. Maybe boost you can put when your you need goo it. I know. In the back of your shirt. Well, that's what Tyler. Next year, yeah, tonight. Tyler from I, from Gazelle was telling us, you know, you can put your goo or maybe your, you know, your high energy, high protein snacks in there. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and no, I think it's going to be Mike and Ike's. <laughs> it would be chocolate, but that would probably Hey, I didn't know. know they had these secret compartments. I need yeah. these clothes I know. for so, uh, isn't carrying it funny? my goods around. I think yeah. it'd be like carrying um, a lot of extra stuff with so, me. There you go. Okay. So we're so excited. You know, I, I can't wait. I'm almost, you know, the countdown is on a week from tomorrow. And my friends are actually, I found out last night, a bunch of my friends are going to run. On, on Team Terry. They're not officially part of Team Terry. They have registered to run. So the Wearinga <laughs> family will be out there. And uh, Jody Wearinga, who actually was a cross country runner in high school, and her daughters, who are Jen's super good friends. See, I had friends that said, if you were doing the 5K, I would have run with you. If you're doing the 10K, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I needed to do a challenge, a personal uh -huh. challenge for myself. And that really is going to be something else when I cross that finish line and know that I. Yeah hit that goal. I'll be waiting there for you. Yeah. <laughs> with, with my, my snack pack. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <gasps>